All right, guys, California Phantom. I'm at uh, Sailor's Bar here in Gold River, California. Across from me is the Nimbus Hatchery, where they spawn Chinook salmon. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a behind-the-scenes tour of exactly what goes on in that hatchery. Come along with me. are crowded into the building using a mechanical crowder and then into a tray and then they're administered an electric shock and that anesthetizes the fish and calms them down so that the workers can handle them safely. They separate the males from the females and they feel the female's bellies to determine if they're right, if their eggs are ready to be spawned. Uh, both male and female salmon die after spawning and so here at the hatchery they are killed first so that our workers can handle them safely and quickly. They then bleed out the females, they'll cut the artery and let all the blood out of her body because they don't want any blood to get onto the eggs and prevent them from fertilizing. So once they've done that, they open up the female's belly and remove her eggs. She has an average of five to 6,000 eggs into a tray and then they take a male and squeeze out the milk from the male, mix them together and the eggs are fertilized and ready, ready to go. They then put them into hatching jars that can hold about 70,000 eggs each and there's river water from the American River circulating through those jars continuously to kind of simulate the river conditions that they would naturally be hatching in. And they'll stay in those jars for about 45 to 50 days until they've, they've hatched out into sac fry or albin.